Just recently, a few days ago, um, I came across one of the most recent fast prototyping boards from Renesas, which is based on the newly introduced or the family, which is going to be introduced uh, the better world this year. So in a few weeks, uh, the family array uh, OE1 or array zero E1. So really low end. Uh, and let's see what is inside. So I will just do unboxing. So what we have, oh, very interesting board, very small one. No cable, which is good. I have enough cables around me. And uh, very simple board. I guess this is the main microcontroller. Um, just based on the pin count, I would say it's 32 pin TQFN package. I see the debugger circuit. So if I turn around, oh, I guess it's Sager based. So Sager, the bar circles. I see uh, Arduino headers. I like it a lot. I see additional header uh, placeholders. So eventually, if you would like to access the complete, all the pins, you can, you have it here. We have USB type C access, I guess for the debugger and powering. We have some push buttons, so buttons to either reset or for the user. And additionally, we have two P mods, which is really nice. Some small circuitry, I guess this is the powering part. Since not much is actually available online, I uh, will just introduce some basic features on the microcontroller. So looking at the teaser voucher, which we are going to launch, we are talking about Cortex M23, really low entry. And um, very low power based on the figures I have here. So 80, 84 microamperes per megahertz. This is active power consumption. And the voltage range, voltage range is up to 5.4, uh, 5.5, 5.5 volts. Um, since really not much is available online, I will just try to position the, the microcontroller on the existing array family series lineup. So, Coming from the really high-end array down to array two, which is now entry line. So array zero or array O series will be probably will, will be based here. And um, it's really the entry line. Just coming back here, the main target, it's really low-end microcontroller uh, market, uh, targeting eight and 16-bit microcontrollers. Um, various applications, eventually sensoric, simple sensor. So if you just like to uh, have remote sensor readouts and you would just transfer over different serial protocol. And I believe this is really great product um, to use. And especially targeting the ones who read something simple, something low entry, and uh, really are looking forward to the RM Cortex-M based microcontroller solution. So let me try to plug in the board and run the eSquare Studio. So using the latest FSP, so flexible software package. So I'm just running the eSquare Studio now. I will just define the workspace for this um, example. Pre running the iSquare Studio or FSP. So I installed the latest version, which is 5.2 which also includes uh, the support for Array 0 or, or E1. So I will just create a really new C++ project. And I will try to make um, Renesas, Renesas Array project. We'll try to get into what um, examples are available. So I will just do Example one. Um, next. So, okay, FSP version 5.2. So I will try to look for my board. So it's FPB. Okay, it's here. Great. I believe not anything else is needed. So here we have Cortex M23 and not much here written. So I will just try to do executable, so no free or test or something, no r test. So we have two examples now up and running. So one is bare metal blinky, 
which one I would like to go for and bare metal minimal so really to start from scratch I believe much more will come with the product launch so and on the MPI day which is April 9th uh, 24 and let me just try to finish loading the project and now the tool asked me to open the perspective for um, C development project is being loaded we see the project summary we have a pinout here and eventually what I can go here usually insert a uh, source let me just check what is inside the code okay so this is what we are used to pin access enable so to get access to the pin then pin write pin access disable so it's very basic warm start where we have the uh, the blink key so LED let count or good delay okay we have some basic delay function and let me just try to compile so I will build the project I don't expect any errors because it's really something out of box and again since this is really simple microcontroller and compilation should be really short and again targeting 8-bit 16-bit applications eventually with a 32-bit Cortex M23 based microcontroller so after successful compilation I will just do debug configuration I will do example if I look here Renaissance GDB hardware debugging I example debug flat I will just click debug and it will take me to the main and from that point on so now the firmware is being loaded we don't see any LED blinking so I will just resume the application and uh, we see the LED blinking I was showing really something what is coming in following weeks we see the out of box experience is there experience is there um, not too many examples are available but I believe more to come at the launch uh, which is happening in the, at a better world this year so if you would like to get one of your boards so stop by at EBV boot so hole 3A uh, boot number 125 it will be a big boot and um, please stop by to get one of your boards for yourself